Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learnt about how to use Bootstrap progress bar, which is yet another component which has to, which is mostly used to give a visual indication to the user that some progress is being made. One such component is also spinner or loading icon which tells users that please wait something is being worked upon in the background and very very important because you would see most applications have this component in today's episode we will learn all about it we will learn about different options we'll learn how to customize it we'll see different options of customizing the color the layout using it with button etc let's get started this is part 25 of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial series uh, I have planned around 40 uh, hands-on tutorials and that includes live examples also. We have done few in the past. Make sure that you go through this uh, tutorial playlist so that you can learn and master Bootstrap 5 end-to-end. -end. Also, please do let me know if you have any doubts or queries in the comment section. I'm always here to help you. Let's learn about Bootstrap Spinners. I think of all the components in Bootstrap, this is the most uh, simplest and the straightforward one because it just has a DIV and there's a class called spinner-border, which is uh, what uh, puts a kind of a border, right? Uh, internally and a CSS transition key, uh, what it does is it will just start showing the loading icon, right? So that's the most simplest one I can tell you. Let's see this in action and then I'll show you some of the options you can do to customize it. Alright, so for that I uh, will look up to the docs and I will encourage you start always with the documentation. It's up to date and that's your best bet so that you don't make any mistake in terms of typing the class name or syntax. Alright, so that being said, you look at here, it's a border spinner, right? So there's a spinner which is a spinning border wheel. So copy that code and go to our application. So I'm going to use it right under my progress bar for now. So let's format it a little bit. Okay, and then here if you see, it is showing the loading icon, right? Now this is a, um, because we have said that this is an animation, um, this is a simple one, spinner border. It doesn't have any class yet. Um, so we can try and put a background. So we can see here that there is a background here, right? Um, so there are different options how you want to put it. Like if you want to use different colors, let's copy this beautiful code, paste it here. And now we should see so many different progress bars that we can use with our application. Okay, you will not use all. Uh, it doesn't make uh, sense to use so many progress bars in our application. At least I have not seen uh, any. But um, having said that, uh, having have a consistency in one. So let's use blue in our application since that's our primary a call to action button blue and like I said you can put text primary will put the border color you can also put background if you would like but it won't show you the difference right so that's why maybe you can have a different um, text warning and you can have VG info so something like this see so that's basically give a class name and customize how you would want that to be look and feel so this is our loading icon. I am going to make it primary for our case since we are using that's the primary one that we are going to use. All right, so now let's see different variations of it. Now, how can you use it to grow like this, right? So instead of spinner border, just make it spinner hyphen grow. So then it would become grow like this, right? Looks very cool, right? So that's something that you can use it with again, colors that you would want. Now you can use margin padding, right? Just like utilities M5, which is for margin and you can space it around. Again, placement, you want it in the center. So just add the flex to it uh, class. So this is again, these are not dependent of spinner, but it is mostly of your, the framework provides you with a uh, option to put it in the center, which is the deflex, right? So when you say deflex, justify content center, it will move to the center of the application. Similarly, if you want items to be aligned, right? So you can move them whichever way you would like. So this is loading icon here and this spinner here, right? If you want something at the end, just use float end. 
if you want something at the start just use the float start like here it is at the center right now let me show you this example where you would like to use float at the start right so this is at the start now you make it end float end with an option it will come at the end right so now if you have two items we can use this justify here this one so it has now two items loading and the loading icon so you can position it on the left as well as the right now so you can see here there are two different uses you can use different CSS classes also now this is one of my favorite one which is to use with the buttons for example if you have some um, action item call to action right uh, submit or add or something so what you can do is once you click on that you can show loading icon that it is being submitting or something like that so instead of loading you can say like creating account or submitting information etc right so once user has clicked on it you can say creating account so that way you disable that particular button and show the progress icon and the spinning that it is being created right so pretty cool uh, stuff uh, try it out uh, very simple component like I said it doesn't have much it just has the spinner border that's the main class that you should remember because that is what will be working all right all right so go through that that's all we have for a uh, spinner component that's all customizations we can do I hope um, it's clear to you I hope you can go ahead give it a try and start using it in your application so start building on it in the next episode I will show you how to use bootstrap toasts for yet another visual feedback to the user about some some kind of notification system very interesting very beautiful component you don't want to miss on that thank you so much for joining if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials thanks again for joining see you in the next episode